Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome back to Somewhere in Bookland. Today I'm going to be talking about my February favorites. I'm going to be going over my favorite movie, my favorite TV show, my favorite book, my favorite music related thing, and another random favorite I have that's somehow related to all of those things. Entertainment. My favorite book of the month was Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This book is about Jude, a 17-year-old human girl who was kidnapped by the Fae when she was seven along with her sisters and taken to live in the High Court of Fairy. There, she's treated as less than everybody else because to the Fae, she is less. She's human. And the Fae don't really like human that much. These aren't your nice fairies. These are your, like, evil fairies, which is great. I love it. And she really finds an arch nemesis in the youngest prince of the fairy king, Cardin. He and her do not get along. They bicker back and forth. He wants to control her and she is not having that. I loved how strong Jude is and how fierce she is and how I loved how she doesn't back down for anybody. I think I've read a couple of Holly Black books in the past, but I have to say the fact like she created such a strong female main character, I love that. I loved the world of the fairies. I loved how dark it was. I mean, they talk about convincing humans that, you know, sand and leaves and stuff is a delicious meal and making them eat it. And I love that. I loved that the fairies were evil. Kind of like how they're supposed to be in all the fairies stories that you read from way back when. They're not nice fairies. They're mischievous. They like to pull pranks. And that's how these fairies are and I appreciate that. This book really goes into the politics of the fae world and it's not, there's not really much of like romance in it. So if you want like a romantic story. Maybe that'll come later on in the series, but in this one, it's all about the politics of a world and how they're all like plotting for their own personal gain. And Jude finds her way through this world and she finds her place in this world. And I just, I loved this book. Five stars. This was a five star book for me highly recommend it. I read this book in one sitting. Literally. I started reading it. I got the notification that it was available to download that I was it was like ready for my copy. I was next in line from the library and I downloaded it and I started reading it and then I just kept reading it. And I kept reading it. I kept telling myself I had to go to bed so I could wake up and go to work the next day. And I was going to be tired and I was going to regret it. But I didn't stop. I was like, one more hour. One more hour. And then I was like, you know what? I only have like 50 pages left. I may as well finish it. And did I regret it the next day? No, because it was that good. My favorite TV show of the month is actually a bust because I didn't really watch much TV. So I'm just going to tell you what I did watch. I rewatched. I've been rewatching Friends just randomly and I've been rewatching One Tree Hill cuz I've never watched the whole thing through. So yeah. I guess you could say my fra my favorite was One Tree Hill because I've never seen the whole thing through and I've seen Friends through quite a bit. So One Tree Hill, I guess. My favorite movie was definitely the Black Panther movie. It was so good. Like everything about it was perfect. The music was on point. The cinematography was just amazing. You know, they just had gorgeous locations. The cast was amazing. I mean, everything about it was just good. I am so excited. I just love the Marvel movies. And this one was just great. This one was perfect. My favorite music related thing of the month actually came out last month in January, but I didn't listen to it until February. And that is Mania by Fall Out Boy. 
on repeat I've been listening to this CD. It is so good. I love it so much. Um, obviously it's different than old Fall Out Boy, but I don't care. It's Fall Out Boy. It's amazing. It's amazing. I really like Church. I really love the title, Stay Frosty Royal Milk Tea, because it just makes me laugh. And it just makes me laugh. Um, I love the opening song, Young and Menace. I love... Mm, Heaven's Gate isn't necessarily my favorite. I think it's my least favorite on the CD. But I love Church and Sunshine Riptide. I really like Sunshine Riptide too. Actually, I love them all except Heaven's Gate's like... Everything else is like right here and then Heaven's Gate's like right here. So it's like a little less. Which is weird because I tend to really love like the slower songs. I don't know why. But yes, Young and a Menace, Champion, uh, they're all good. Except for, you know, Heaven's Gate. It's good, but it's not great. They're all great, except for Heaven's Gate. So yes, Follow Away, Mania, amazing. And for number five, this month it's going to be a podcast. So on... The 26th of February, so near the end of February, I got a notification saying one of my podcasts had a new episode, and then I was just kind of like scrolling through all the podcasts, and I was like, huh, I wonder if, you, if any YouTubers have a podcast. So I just typed in YouTube, and the podcast popped up by some YouTubers I love, and started listening to it, and it's amazing, and that's Views by David Dobrik and Jason Nash. I crack up laughing at this. I'll listen to it at work, really low on my headphones. I listen to it when I'm doing like my daily tasks in the morning that takes me about an hour, an hour and a half every morning. And these podcasts are generally about 40 minutes long, so I can usually get like two in every morning. And I've also been listening to it. I listened already. Today is the 3rd of March. I've listened to like 20 episodes of this already. I've listened to a lot of this podcast. I've listened to 22 episodes of this so far and I've just been listening to it since the 26th. So in six days I've listened to 22 episodes. That's a lot and I love it and it's hilarious and I'll catch myself laughing at my desk at work or laughing in the car on the way to work and now, before I push play, because I plug in my headphones, and I think my little, um, the little dongle I have that you plug the headphone into and then you plug it into your iPhone, I think that's going out a little bit, because sometimes if I don't have it, like, flipped the right way, it won't go through my headphones, it'll play through the speaker. And I completely forgot about this until I plug it in and I push play, and it says really loud in my office, grow the fuck up. And I was just like, whoa, 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 stop, stop, pause, 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 pause. And now, before I listen to it, I make sure the volume is turned all the way down on my phone and I start playing a song from my music. And if that's playing through the headphones, then I'll play the podcast because I do not want that to happen again. Thankfully, nobody heard it because there was no one, like, around me. There were other people in the office, but they weren't close to me. So thankfully nobody heard it because I was like, my heart was pounding about that. I was so afraid I was going to get in trouble. And I was like, oh my gosh, really? I'm going to get in trouble for a stupid podcast. But yeah, that's my story with that podcast. It's hilarious. I like it. If you like David's YouTube channel, then you should really watch this. They talk a lot about the skits and stuff that they do, and it's funny. I like it. It's hilarious. They talk about some really random stuff, though. Uh, but yes, those are my five February favorites. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you want to see more of this face in your feed. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.